Hello students, today we begin our new subject, Introduction to Differential Equations. Firstly, some introduction about that subject, which has three credits. You can read the subject, activity, the textbook, and the way to finalize score in my slide. The final score will be consist of three columns. The project or class test 20% with exercises activity fan science. The midterm test 25% and the final test 50%. Let's discuss the first lecture, basic notions of differential equations, which has four paragraphs. Firstly, what's a differential equation? This is an equation with the unknown is function y displayed as and in the equation you can find some derivatives. The highest derivative order will be the order of differential equations. Let us example one. In example 1, you see the first equation you have derivative, so the unknown is the function, and the highest order derivative is first, so you have first order differential equations. Similarly, the second equation is the second order, and the third equation, there you don't have derivative, but you have differential and the first order, so it's still first order differentiations. Additionally, if in your equations you have only function of one variable, so we call ordinary differentiations, or we say shortly ODE. But if in your equation you have function of several or two variables, so this is partial DA or PDA. In example 2, you see equation with the partial derivatives, so you have function of several variables, and this is the second order PDA. We meet a lot of situations in real life. For example, the circuit with the resistor R and the L, the source E, how you can find the current I blowing that circuit. For example, if you have the resistor 10 ohm, the inductor 400, the power source 12 volts, how you find the current. To find the current, we must solve that equation. L multiplying derivative of current I plus Mi equal to J. For the data we have, we have equation for Y prime plus 10I equal to 12. So you have the first order equations. We can note that if we have only resistor N, so you find the current I by simple division. If you have only the inductor L, so your equation will be L Y prime equal I J. To find I, you must set integral. So this is tail prime. And now if you have a L circuit, the simple integration cannot help you to find the current. You must solve the usual equations. Let's talk about the solution. Let's take the simplest usual equation y prime equal 2s 2y. This is just the high school problem. We take integral. An integral of 2s dx equal s squared plus c. You have constant. You have 
F symbol derivative, so you just add integral. And to take that integral, you must remember the basic integral. That print outside. Rewrite there. So your answer is 5 over 2. At time, S over 2. Let's see. Remember, to solve deep show equation, you must find the general solution. But if you have initial condition more, you must find the particular solution. Similarly, your answer will be y equal integral. How to find that integral? You don't have table, you must use the basic technique. You recognize that derivative of x squared plus y equal to s, so you multiply 2 above, divide 2 outside. And if you consider below like you, so above this a you break. And that will be logarithm of you. That means s squared plus 1. Let's say you must use the initial condition to find c. Substitute s equals 0. So this is logarithm 1. This is 0. You have c equal 4. You will have the particular solution. We like to highlight there. To solve initial equations, at least you must remember the table of basic integral and the basic technique like substitution rule on the integration by part. Please review the table of basic antiderivative and the basic technique yourself. One useful tip. For initial value problem, sometimes you will have derivative given and one value y i equal alpha. How to find y b? If we just ask you to find y b and the integral is difficult, you can use the formula y b equal y a plus integral of derivative. That means integral of the right hand side m s, and you will use the calculator to find that integral. For example, we ask you y 1.5. If you try to that integral of that function to find y, this will be very long. So, we just ask you to find approximately so you can write directly. This is 2 plus integral 0 to 1.5 and you will find this is about 3.02 but please distinguish well if you ask the same problem but we don't ask you one failure we ask you the integral so Reweight this integral by calculator. Finally, please do yourself find review questions. First, which one is ordinary solutions? You can say to first equation you don't have derivative. To last, you have derivative, but this is partial, this is ordinary. So the way answer will be D. Question 2 If you have the circuit, RL circuit, you must remember the current IJ will satisfy with equation there. 
Thus, if we ask you for general solution, don't forget the constant C. Question 4. When we ask only the value, you will yield the deep integral with calculator. And the last one, but if we ask you the integral, you must find exactly y. After that, try C and that the integral. Thank you for your attention.